Guys, if you like making money, which I know you do, you do not want to miss this one. Guys, welcome to the Mr. Bubbles channel where we dish out awesome pressure washing business advice to beginners. Now, before we get into today's awesome episode, wanted to uh, give a shout out to the huge convention. Man, wow, guys, this is something that is going to be amazing. It's a national power washing convention that happens every year. It's in Nashville, Tennessee. This year, it's going to be from uh, August 22nd to the 24th. Highly recommend you guys get your tickets. Man, I'm looking forward to seeing a lot of you guys there. I'm going to be, I'm actually going to be interviewing a lot of you guys. And I hope to put, you know, some great content out there where I get to, you know, record, you know, with some of the vendors and some of the attendees. And guys, this is the biggest networking event in the country for pressure washing. And uh, all your top minds from the industry are going to be there. You know, obviously all your content, your, your, Creme de la creme content creators are going to be there, but then also your vendors and, and the like. So highly recommend, guys. This is one of those events. You know, um, man, besides pricing and marketing, I think the thing I talk about the most on the channel is networking. Because as you guys well know, you know, I got to a ceiling in my company where, you know, I couldn't go over a certain amount of money. What pushed my company over to a million dollar company was networking, the power of networking. Something I talk a lot about. And there is no better event for that than this one, okay? Because, again, guys, this is something that's going to have, you know, 10,000 plus people attending this thing. So I highly recommend you guys attend the huge convention. And I made this super simple for you guys. The, the link to get the tickets is in the description of this video. Enough said about that. I'll see you guys next month. We're only a month away at the huge convention. Now, let's go ahead and jump into today's episode. We're going to be talking about, um, <clears throat> we're going to make this actually a two-parter, guys. This is part one. Make sure you stay tuned in for part two because uh, this is going to be kind of a long one. I didn't want it to be over an hour, so divided it up into two parts. Today, we're going to be going over the top six things that, um, that uh, you know, these are quality slash traits that you're going to have to have if you want to become a master, master technician, okay? Now, to me... I'll start off by saying this. This is not one of the things, but I would not consider anyone a master technician in the pressure washing industry without first having at least a thousand jobs under your wings. Because, guys, you know, there's no absolutely no substitute for experience, right? Like me, it took me three years to get to my 1,000th job. Some of you guys may be able to do it in a year or two. But that's the goal. First, you want to hit 100 houses, 100 jobs, and then eventually you want to hit 1,000 jobs. Now, through the years, I have personally hired and trained, you know, over 50, 50 uh, technicians. And so I've noticed, what I've noticed through the years is certain qualities that the great ones possess. So I put together this list. And you guys, this is, a, this is an actual checklist. Like it has actionable steps for you guys to take. You have to look at this and you have to say, okay, what am I, what are my strengths at and what are my weaknesses at? And then you guys want to, you know, start working on those weaknesses. So let's go ahead and jump in. Number one on my list, in order for you to become and, and to be considered a great technician, a master technician, is you're going to need to have work ethic. Okay. Guys, if you're trying to get into this industry because you think you're going to be making easy money because you know you saw a TikTok or uh, you know you saw something on Facebook and it's just the guys out there make it look super simple I got news for you you know when you watch these content creators such as myself or you know shout out to the Fresh Rinse or uh, or Pink Flamingo down in Florida yes we all make this look easy but you're not taking into account the years and years and years that it took us to master where we make it look easy. You, you see what I'm saying? I mean, I have 10,000 plus hours, plus hours where I've been doing this. So when I'm out in the field, yeah, I can take a, 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 you know, a huge house and do it in 45 minutes, make it look super easy. 
but it's not that easy. When I first started this business, I wasn't creating videos back then, and it was taking me three to five hours to do a single job. And guys, I'll be honest with you, some of the hardest work I have ever done in my life was when I first started my business, but I got good news on, um, on this front. You know, I liken it like going to the gym, okay? You guys remember when we've all been through this as men, right? Where you go through a period in your life where you're not working out, and then all of a sudden one day you say, hey, you know what? Uh, you know, I need to lose a couple LBs. Let me go jump back in the gym. And man, those first couple of days are brutal, aren't they, guys? Like the next day you wake up and you're sore in places you didn't even know you had muscles, right? I remember the, the first time I went back to the gym after a while, I couldn't. I had a hard time even lifting my finger, like showering, for example, you know, bar of soap in hand. I could barely like move my hand. That's how sore I was. But what we've all noticed is as you keep as you keep going, you know, two or three times a week, by week number six, seven around there, you your body gets used to it. You build that muscle memory, and then you don't get sore anymore. You guys know what I'm talking about? The same thing happens here. Guys, as you're out in the field and you start to develop different systems and you're working, eventually you get to a point where that soreness goes away. And I remember as if yesterday, I got to a point, it was right around uh, my six, seven month in, where I could do multiple jobs, boom, and it didn't even feel like it. But I remember when I first started, my first couple of months, I remember this one day, for example, Guys, like, I only had two jobs that day. The first one was a house wash, and the second one was house, patio, and uh, blah, 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 driveway. And that one job took me five hours. When I got home, I got home like at four something. I was so, 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 so tired. Threw myself in a bed with my uniform, boots, and everything. I slept for 14 hours straight. That's how physically exhausted I was. So, here's my point in saying all of this, guys. You're not going to make it in this business regardless if you are lazy. If you do not have amazing work ethic, that is something that you're going to have to reflect upon yourself and say, hey, you know, uh, am I a lazy type? Do I like getting up late every day and only working a few hours? I recently had this guy reach out to me because you guys know I coach a lot of guys in the industry. And his thing was like, oh, I'm trying to leave my job because they make me work 50 hours a week. And, and I'm trying to only work like 20 or 30, so that's why I'm getting into pressure washing. Guys, if that's your attitude, if that's your goal, is you want to do this because you want to work less, I'm telling you this right now. You're absolutely in, your, in, a, in the wrong industry. This industry is a lot of hard work, gumption. You're going to get stains um, all over your clothes, all over your skin, chemicals in your eyeballs. You're going to get calluses on your hands. And guess what, guys? Like, it's not uncommon to put in 70, 80 hours a week. That's real talk. Like, I'm on my shop at 6 a.m. every day, and, and sometimes I don't get home until 8, 9 o'clock at night. That is real talk. So, so most professionals, okay, your full-time guys, we're all working 70, 80 hours a week or more. When I first started Mr. Bubbles and I was building it, it was not uncommon for me to put in you know, typical week, 90 plus hours. So guys, take that into account because you're not going to make it in this business if you're lazy, okay? That's just the bottom line. You need to have work ethic if you're gonna be considered a master technician. Number two on my list, right attitude. Guys, it's all about that PMA. PMA, PMA stands for positive mental attitude. If you're the type of person that you always see things from a negative point of view, like you're just you're just built that way. I can tell you right now, you're never going to become a master technician because so many things happen out there in the field. You know, from hoses breaking to I mean, all kinds of things, guys. There's hundreds and hundreds, hundreds of negative examples that I could give you, but all I can tell you is you need to make sure that you tackle everything from a positive perspective because that's what you want to build, guys. You want to build positivity around yourself. I'm a big believer in, you know, we're all just magnets. Like, we attract to ourselves the things that we consistently put in our minds, right? Like, I don't drive to a person's house thinking, oh, I hope this person's not a Karen. I hope this, I hope that. And then I get there and guess what? The person's a Karen. I don't do that. I, I get over there when I'm driving, I'm going to be like, man, this guy's going to give me a $100 tip. This guy's going to give me a five-star review. 
this is going to be one of my favorite customers ever. Like these are the positive things that I'm putting into my into the existence, if you will. Positive mental attitude. You need to tackle everything that way because guess what, guys? Guess what? They're both. Both of them are contagious. Negative attitudes are contagious in the sense that it, it, it makes people want to stay away from you. And then positive attitude is the opposite of that. It makes people come towards you. So you want to be a positive individual because you're going to rub that on the, on the customer. And they're going to look at you. They're going to say, man, this must be a fun place to work. This guy must be really good in his job because you can see how passionate his, he is you know, to what he does because of his attitude. Attitude says a lot about who you are. Remember, guys, you want to tackle this, everything that you do with a PMA, positive mental attitude. Number three on our list, you're never going to become a, 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 um, a master technician if you do not possess this one thing, guys, a student mentality. So many things that you're going to have to learn right on the back end things out in the field and so if you're the type of person that you think you know it all or you think you're smarter than everybody and so you don't need to watch videos you don't need to take notes you don't need to learn from anybody you can teach yourself man you're gonna make so many mistakes i mentioned this in a previous video guys there's three types of people in this world Smart people, dumb people, and wise people. So dumb people, they consistently make mistakes and never learn from them. Smart people make mistakes, learn from them, and try their best to not repeat those same mistakes. Then you have your wise individual. Those individuals, they learn from the mistakes of others, and that's where I want you guys to be. Guys, there's so many things to learn in this business. There's so many chemicals, so many processes, so many systems that you need to learn and develop within yourself. And, you know, something we've been talking a lot about on this channel is skill sets, different skill sets like selling and customer service and um, uh, people, finance management, uh, how to deal with people. And the list goes on. So the bottom line is, guys, there's a lot of things that you're going to have to learn along the way. So you need to make sure that you are in a constant process of learning. You, you learn, you grow from that knowledge, you apply that knowledge, rinse and repeat. And then guess what? You're going to face a lot of negativity along the way, things that you learn, and you need to make sure you learn from those negative experiences and try not to commit those mistakes again. And then also, obviously, that's why you watch channels like mine, so you learn how to not make those same mistakes mistakes so before we get to the next one guys check out I, I got this quick promo for you about my business in a box guys quick announcement i've created a digital product called mr bubbles business in a box check this out okay so the mr bubbles business in a box is actually a a thumb drive that we're going to send to you guys to your physical address and when you get this thumb drive you're going to see a folder that's called box in it and, and then when you open it, you're going to see all of these files right here, guys, all of these folders. And guys, this thing has over 500 files, anything and everything I've ever created from my business. So all of the blueprints, uh, training modules, documents, all of the things that you guys constantly email me about, you know, your pricing PDF, your, um, your for example, you know, your your marketing blueprints, anything that you could you could need for your business is in here. That's why we call it a business in a box. One of the things that I really like about this is, guys, check out all of these pictures. So you have a total of 300 before and after pictures that you guys can add to your website and your Facebook and your Google My Business. And check this out. So there's a folder called Google SEO. And, and the pictures already have the SEO words in them. And this one photo right here has over 300. This specific photo has 190 pictures, but all in all, it's over 300 pictures. Look at some of these pictures, guys. Amazing before and afters. Pictures for you guys to be able to add to all of your social medias and whatnot. This is going to help you get a lot of customers. And of course, your edible postcards are on here. And then finally, you got training videos on here as well, guys. Like, for example, uh, the video on how to optimize your Google My Business, 
um, the Mr. Bubbles. You got several videos, so they're like training modules. You got all the PDFs. The bottom line, guys, is this. This is going to help you with your business. So don't miss out. Make sure that you email us so you can get your business in a box today. In order to get your business in a box, you just got to hit the link in the description of this video. And I say this all the time on the channel, guys. The more you know, the more you grow. That's how come I decided to create this business in a box because it has everything in there you need to be able to grow your business. And I really, really believe that this is going to be a game changer for you. Guys, you do not, you do not want to miss out on this one. All right, so moving right along, number four on our list is something, wow, this is the other thing we talk a lot about on the channel, great customer service. If you're going to be an amazing technician out in the field, it, to me, to me, it starts with great customer service. Showing up to somebody's house with a smile, a great attitude, showing up on time. So the four tenets, the four tenets of great customer service is make sure you pick up the phone when people call or if you're on the other line or if you're, you know, they call when the phone's off or whatever, make sure you reach them back right away. Make sure you show up on time. Have a great attitude and be polite to people. And then number three, do quality work out in the field. That right there is going to set up you real nice for great customer service. You know this, guys. Like, like we live in a world where customer service is not dying. It is absolutely dead. Think about all the negative experiences you guys have had lately within the next, let's say, 18 months. The last 18 months in restaurants and stores where... Man, the people are so, so rude to everybody and, 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 and they just don't have that sort of mentality like of service, right? So you wanna make sure that you serve your client. Your client is essentially your boss. And so, you know, you need to serve them everything that they need to have done and go beyond, go that extra mile for people. So highly suggest you guys, um, you, you guys focus on that if right now, you do not have great customer service skills, start with those four. Again, make sure you answer the phone, show up on time, be polite, friendly to people, and do amazing quality work out in the field. Number five on our list, be systematic, okay? This is something else that we're talking a lot about on the channel. I'm helping you guys develop different systems throughout your company, like a concrete cleaning system, gutter cleaning system, downstreaming system we just did our uh, downstreaming series highly recommend you guys watch that over 10 hours of content of how to downstream houses and next the very next series that we're going to be doing is our soft washing series again it's going to be over 10 hours of content on how to how to soft wash everything from houses to fences to decks etc so highly recommend that guys any any technician okay if you want to become a master technician it's all about developing good habits right so you have to be systematic you know if you guys heard me talk about this you know when we pull up to a person's house that we're going to do the we're going to do their house wash we have a system in place like we don't just do it any kind of which way you guys already know this number one we connect to to a water supply number two Number two on our list is home and plan protection. Number three, we do a walk around. This is where we take pictures, like a before picture. Number four, we do our five arounds. You guys see me talk about this a lot, but you've also seen me out there, you know, on the GoPro do this, right? So we do our five arounds at every single house. Then we come back and we spray that hot sauce, let the hot sauce do its thing, have its uh, dwell time, and then we rinse everything off. You know that at the end of every house wash, we rinse thoroughly the home, the windows, and the plants, right? That's part of plant protection, home protection. Then we do a final walkthrough. That's step number six. Then we do a walkthrough with the customer collect payment number seven. And number eight, we ask for that Google review. And guys, guess what? It doesn't matter if the house we're at is a stucco home, a brick home, a large home, a dirty home, a clean home, an old home, really, really, really tall home. None of that matters. We go through the same system. And if we're doing concrete, it's we have a system for that. If we're doing a deck, we have a system for that. If we're doing solar panel cleaning, we have a system for how we do that. So make sure, that's why I recommend you guys, if you haven't done this, you guys need to go back and watch all of my episodes because guess what, guys? 
every single one of my episodes, there is a learning opportunity for you in every single one. Think of it as like building your business is like trying to create a puzzle. Each one of my episodes is going to be a piece of that puzzle that is going to help you become more systematic in the way that you do things. You guys have seen, for example, you know, the way that I build my rigs. Everything is a system. Everything, I have a blueprint for how I do it. And that's why I tell you guys this all the time. I am the ultimate right-hand guy to you. I am part of your network. Reach out to me. I will send you so many resources. Guys, all I want to do is I want to see you guys be successful. I want to see you guys grow. So reach out to me and I will help you with that process. I will send you some of our amazing blueprints on how we do things like the marketing blueprint is going to teach you how to get customers. Just email me. You guys already know this. My email is in the description of this video and I will help you out with that. Finally, number six on that list, okay? It is what I refer to as efficiency techniques, okay? So for this one, it's hard to talk about it. So I want you guys to watch my downstreaming series. I'm going to give you examples there of what I'm talking about. But if you watch that series, I talk about three techniques on there that makes you more efficient at the job of, house, of, of doing a house wash. So, for example, something I've noticed technicians do, uh, technicians that, you know, take a long time to do jobs, is that they would consistently... Um, you know, turn the gun on and off, on and off, on and off. So we talked about those three, three techniques, which is making sure you never turn, you very seldom turn the gun off when you're washing. Number two, you don't change like your tips very often. Like I, I will do an entire wall with my fan tip to the end, change to my shooter tip for the, you know, the two-story tip. So I'm only changing the tips maybe twice, maximum three times on each side. I've seen technicians where they're changing you know, 10 to 15 times their tips on a single wall. And then um, and then the, the, the third thing that I've noticed is that new guys, when they're very new, they spend a tremendous amount of time saucing up a wall because they want to see it clean right away. But we know that it does not work that way, right? There's a dwell time for every chemical. So that's what I mean by efficiency techniques. Now, I'll give you another one. When we surface clean a driveway... We always start from the street side, not the garage side. And then we pull all of our line, our pressure washing line behind us. Why do we do that? Because as we pressure wash, we don't want to be consistently running into our line. This is going to shave off 10 to 15 minutes off my driveway time because I'm you know, not having to constantly stop to move my line. That is what I'm talking about, guys, when I'm talking about efficiency techniques and there's many and like i said that's why i recommend you guys watch all my videos all my wash videos out there in the field because i go over a lot of these efficiency techniques and guys that is the purpose of the mr bubbles channel is to help you guys develop in every aspect of the business because you guys know this all the time i say it it's, it's my slogan for the comp for the for the channel right the more you know the more you'll grow and then you guys just need to make sure that you know you apply this knowledge now with this uh this master technician you know uh checklist that we're talking about guys like you need to write this stuff out and go one by one by one and see what it is that you're lacking and i guarantee you guys that there's one or two things that you need to work on and that's the point you need to develop yourself Little by little, guys, this process took me three years to become a master technician. This is not something you're going to do in overnight. And guess what? Your pay is a reflection of your skill. So the more skilled you become out in the field, you're going to make more money. That's exactly how that works. That's exactly how it's supposed to work. People who have more knowledge and more skill make more money. That's how the world works. So, but anyway, that's all I got for you guys today. Really appreciate you coming to my channel and watching this How to Become a Master Technician video. Highly recommend you guys watch part two. It's going to be out in the next day or so. We're going to be talking um, a little bit more in depth about things that you can do out there. And then, um, you know, uh, just make sure you stay tuned because it's we've already created that video, by the way, just going through the editing process. And then, like I said earlier, make sure you email me, guys, because I have some amazing amazing resources for you guys that i can send you out these are free resources that's going to help you become more successful but uh but yeah 
Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Bubbles out.